Welcome, viewers, to a journey through the annals of ancient history, where the clash between unwavering faith and tyrannical rule unfolds in the heart of Babylonia. The mound 600 years before the dawn of the Common Era. A formidable ruler named Ibn Dabun also held sway, orchestrating a regime marked by cruelty and unrelenting power. Little known to many, this tyrant found himself face to face with none other than Jesus the encounter is shrouded in the mysteries of the Old Testament, specifically within the pages of the book of Daniel. This captivating narrative introduces us to three young people, Saibwa, Misa, and the Bednado whose indomitable courage becomes a beacon of resistance against oppressive authority. As we delve into this gripping tale, Worn rather the layers of societal pressure, divine intervention, and the profound impact that one's steadfast faith can have on the course of history. Picture, if you will, the grandeur of Babylonia, under the shadow of Nabun, Bamosor, with towering ambitions, his first for no bounds, leading to a decree that would alter the destinies of Yahoo's captives including Daniel and his companions. But in the midst of this political turmoil, a monumental statue of gold emerged as symbol not only of the kingdom but also a catalyst for a clash in obedience to every to the family. A stage was set for an epic confrontation, where the societal norms collided with the unwavering convictions of three young men who dared to defy the king's decree. What makes this story even more intriguing is the clandestine presence of Jesus in the Old Testament. Though not explicitly named, the encounter in the book of Dan hints at a divine intervention that transcends time. Join me as we explore the nuances of this narrative, examining the socio-political landscape, the characters, unyielding resolve, and the surprising twists that leave Nabu Danosar. And thus, questioning the limits of power and the role of faith in the face of adversity. So buckle up, history enthusiasts and secrets of ancient mysteries. Today, we embark on a journey through the biblical tapestry, that the threads of faith and power with a story that echoes through the ages. This is the tale of Sadrat Pil, made to me, saw, and a dead nigger story that not only challenges the might of a king, but Uso introduces us to a presence that transcends the pages of the Old Testament. As we step into the intricate tapestry of Babylonia, a kingdom fueled by the ambitions of Nadu Dinosaur. We find ourselves amidst a saga of political maneuvering, religious decree, and a colossal golden statue, which symbolized not only the king's vanity, but in his quest for unbridled authority. Imagine the grandeur of this ancient city, a testament to the might of Nadu Dinosaur's rule where the towering 90-foot golden idol stood as a testament to his dominance. This statue, whether an embodiment of the king's pride or a political tool to consolidate his power, became the focal point of a societal drama, but would pit obedience against devotion. What makes the narrative even more compelling is the courageous stance taken by three young Hebrews side by Cruz, Massa, and Abednego. These individuals, torn between the demands of the tyrannical ruler and their unwavering faith in the God of Israel, still is a living paradox in the heart of Babylonia. The societal pressure to conform, to bow down before the golden behemoth invited by the king was immense. In this moment of decision, these young men chose defiance over submission, setting in motion the confrontation that would echo through the corridors of history. Consider for a moment the sheer audacity of their refusal. In a society where conformity was not just encouraged but enforced, Sadra Tkoi, Nessa, and Adidnibo dared to challenge the status quo. The stage was set for a dramatic showdown, 
where the consequences of disobedience were as fiery as the furnace awaiting those who resisted the king's decree. The narrative becomes a gripping exploration of the tension between the lefty power and divine allegiance of the resonant. They're just in ancient Babylonia, but one that reverberates through the ages. Now let's delve deeper into the heart of this tale, examining the characters, a cultural backdrop, and the monumental clash between religious conviction and authoritarian rule. Stay with me as we unravel the layers of this ancient narrative, the societal loans clash with individual courage, and the divine presence becomes a guiding force in the face of overwhelming odds. It ready for a journey through the corridors of history, where the choices of a few would challenge the might of a king and unveil a deeper, transcendent truth. Then the way of the blazing furnace, and the defiance of societal norms. The story of Sadraka. Massa, I'm a oddly the leading interlibable map from the historical Twaldrish, challenging no. As we wrap up this exploration, it's essential to recognize the enduring impact of these ancient events. Consider, for a moment, the transformation of Nabudada Chalmersa and Autocrat, who, in the face of divine intervention, shifted from wrath to awe. The very king who had ordered the furnace, heated seven times hotter than usual, found the power, power greater than his own. This pivotal moment in Babylonia. History serves as a reminder that, even in the grandeur of earthly dominion, there are limits to human power. The unexpected twist in the narrative challenges our perceptions of authority, prompting us to contemplate the forces that transcend the visible realm. Furthermore, the clandestine presence of Jesus in this Old Testament the Count adds a layer of mystery to the tale. Although not explicitly named the fourth figure in the furnace, described as having the appearance of a son of the gods, hints at a divine intervention that extends beyond the confines of the historical narrative. <sighs> that beckons us to consider the overarching theme of the Old Testament, pointing toward a redemptive mission fulfilled by Jesus Christ in the New Testament. As we conclude our journey through the annals of Babylonia, let us carry forward the timeless lessons embedded in this tale. The resilience of faith against the backdrop of societal pressure, the unexpected twists in the face of oppressive rule, and their acknowledgement that there are forces beyond human understanding all contribute to the richness of this narrative. So, dears, as we step out of the shadows of ancient history, let the story of Sadrana, Nisa, and Abigo resonate in your hearts. May it inspire you to span foreign in your convictions, even when faced with the fiery trials of life. And remember, just as the God of Israel, why should these three brave individual he remains a guiding force in our lives today? Offering hope and resilience in the face of adversity. Thank you for joining me on this exploration, and until next time, may your journeys be filled with the courage to stand against the odds and the unwavering faith that transcends time.